So, as you said, uh, there are a lot of opportunities to uh, use online education starting in medical school education for medical students, but continuing uh, at uh, advanced training in the U.S. residency training, fellowship training, uh, etc., but then continuing education. Uh, and opportunity is to get training in uh, without uh, adding more to the curriculum. Uh, people can do it at their own leisure. Uh, they can do it fast. They can do it slow because obviously the pace of learning is very different in individually. So uh, online education, if it's done well, and we do believe we are doing it well, uh, can really uh, be paced by the user. They can easily uh, return to components uh, and they can skip parts that they already know about. Uh, the outcomes are very clear. Uh, we have done some testing where uh, physicians actually use uh, nutrition much more in their practice as it's needed, such as uh, counseling uh, pregnant women uh, on the weight gain uh, that uh, is appropriate for them. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of uh, research on uh, more effective weight loss when it is uh, uh, informed by good training, good education. So these are skills uh, that can be uh, learned uh, and that can be taught. And uh, what we do is we make uh, online nutrition education through our Nutrition in Medicine uh, portal available uh, to medical schools, but also to more advanced learners, uh, giving them access to that resource. I love that question because uh, everybody assumes personally directly delivered uh, instruction is trustworthy, but we don't really know what's going on uh, at in those classes, uh, etc. We don't know how reproducible it is. When you present something online, a lot of diverse people, including experts in the field, uh, see it and uh, ideally uh, they respond to it. So our materials have been used by many tens of thousands of students under the supervision of their instructors. Uh, we get feedback both from the students and the instructors uh, and we are able to correct things if, if they're wrong. So there's a much higher level of transparency. Uh, everybody knows how it is taught, whether there are any kind of biases. Uh, and uh, we also know much more about the outcomes. Does it work? Uh, than about, you know, uh, individual instructors. Uh, much more reproducible. So I think there are strengths. It doesn't mean everything needs to be taught online, but I would say highly trustworthy. <laughs>